In this part of the lesson, we're going to learn how to use the AND operator to combine conditions in an if statement. Let's start by opening up the file that I've already downloaded and extracted. And as always, click the Enable Content button if you need to. This is a similar example to the one you saw in the previous part of this lesson, where you can enter the details of a film that you've watched and then provide a score out of 10. Clicking the Add to List button then needs to add these details to the appropriate list. But rather than adding them to a single list on the same worksheet, we're going to break our films up based on which score they've been provided with. So for example, if the film scores between 9 and 10, for example, we'll add the film to the list of great films that are sitting on the great worksheet, things like Avengers Infinity War, and so on. If the film scores between 5 and 8, it should go into the list on the OK worksheet, where all the mediocre films live, the ones that weren't great, weren't terrible, still watchable, things like The Last Jedi. And then if the film scores between 0 and 4, it should go into the rubbish list where all the crimes against cinema live, things like Twilight that haven't even been given a date for when they were watched because I'd rather do anything else than watch something like Twilight. So having established what system we're going to use, we now need to write the code that will separate our films based on those criteria. So let's head into the Visual Basic Editor and let's start adding the if statement that will break our films up, starting with the rubbish films. So we decided that a film would be rubbish if its score was between 0 and 4. That means we've got two separate conditions to write for our if statement. Let's begin first of all by checking if the score is greater than or equal to 0. So if the value in range B4 is greater than or equal to 0. As well as meeting that criteria, or matching that condition, the score in cell B4 must also be less than or equal to 4. So we can add the AND operator, and then check whether range B4's value is also less than or equal to 4. Then. Now if both these conditions return true, the entire IF statement returns true, and so will perform any instructions that we write immediately below this. So just to begin with, I just want to make sure that we end up on the rubbish worksheet. So we can add a single line of code here that says worksheets rubbish dot select. I can then close my block if by writing end if. And it might be worthwhile just at this point adding in the code that will paste the copied details into the relevant part in the worksheet. So to make that work, we can refer to range uh, the last cell in column A, uh, which is A1048576. And then we can say dot end XL up dot offset one comma zero dot. What I'd like to do then is apply the paste special method to that cell, which will copy, which will paste all the copied cells into there. And because these need, need to go into a row, whereas we've copied them in a column, I'm going to use the transpose parameter and I'm going to set that to be equal to true. So let's give this a quick test now. If I switch back into Excel, I could add some details for a rubbish film. Let's see, uh, 50 Shades of Grey, for instance. That's a pretty terrible film, so I'm led to believe. Uh, I don't know, I've never watched it. Um, uh, not even if you tortured me. Um, so let's add a quick little date for that, not even if you tortured me. And let's set the rating to zero. It could be anything between zero and four for testing purposes, but I'm pretty sure that deserves a zero. So if we click the Add to List button now, we should find that we end up in the rubbish worksheet with these new details pasted in in a row at the bottom of the list. We can use the AND operator in an else if statement as well. Let's head back to the Visual Basic Editor and add in the else if statement to check if the score is between 5 and 8. So let's have an else if below our worksheet's rubbish.select statement. And this time we can check, actually, rather than write all this out again, why not copy and paste? It's not really cheating, and I'll keep telling myself that. So if the value of B4 is between 5 and 8, then what we'd like to do next is select the OK worksheet. So worksheets OK dot select. The paste special statement remains the same. We're just controlling really which worksheet we end up in for the data to be pasted. 
So once again, we can test that this code works by heading back to the Excel workbook. And then let's go back to sheet one and then to the details of some sort of mediocre film. Let's see what I watched recently. Uh, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. Uh, it was all just a bit meh, wasn't it? It, was, it wasn't absolutely awful, but it definitely wasn't great. Uh, let's say I watched that on the 1st of Jan 2019. Let's enter that properly, 1st Jan 2019. And then let's give it a score of five. I might be being a little tiny bit generous if I'm brutally honest, but hey, just for testing purposes, let's pretend it was uh, it was mediocre. So now if I click the add to list button, it will end up in our list of OK films. There we go. At this point, you could either continue with the extra practice session at the bottom of this part of the lesson, or you could simply move on to the next part of the lesson entirely, which explains how to use the not operator.